C I E T N C E R T presents audio book of mathematics for class six. Chapter seven, fractions. Page one hundred fifty five. Part four. Seven point one zero point one. Adding or subtracting like fractions. All fractions cannot be added orally. We need to know how they can be added in different situations and learn the procedure for it. We begin by looking at addition of like fractions. Take a 7 by 4 grid sheet. Figure 7.13. The sheet has 7 boxes in each row and 4 boxes in each column. How many boxes are there in total? Color 5 of its boxes in green. What fraction of the whole is the green region? Now, color another four of its boxes in yellow. What fraction of the whole is this yellow region? What fraction of the whole is colored altogether? Does this explain that 5 upon 28 plus 4 upon 28 is equal to 9 upon 28? Page 156. Look at more examples. In figure 7.141, we have two quarter parts of the figure shaded. This means we have two parts out of four shaded or half of the figure shaded. That is, one fourth plus one fourth is equal to one plus one divided by four is equal to two fourth is equal to half. Look at figure 7.142. Figure 7.142 demonstrates one ninth plus one ninth plus one ninth is equal to one plus one plus one divided by nine is equal to three ninth is equal to one third. What do we learn from the above examples? The sum of two or more like fractions can be obtained as follows. Step one, add the numerators. Step two, retain the common denominator. Step three, Write the fraction as result of step 1 divided by result of step 2. Let us thus add 3 fifth and 1 fifth. We have 3 fifth plus 1 fifth is equal to 3 plus 1 divided by 5, which is equal to 4 fifth. So, what will be the sum of 7 twelfth and 3 twelfth? Try these. 1. Add with the help of a diagram. 1, 1 eighth plus 1 eighth. 2, 2 fifth plus 3 fifth. 3, 1 sixth plus 1 sixth plus 1 sixth. 2, add 1 twelfth plus 1 twelfth. How will we show this pictorially? Using paper folding? 3. Make 5 more examples of problems given in 1 and 2 above. Solve them with your friends. Finding the balance. Sharmila had five sixths of a cake. She gave two sixths out of that to her younger brother. How much cake is left with her? A diagram can explain the situation. Figure 7.15. Note that here the given fractions are like fractions. We find that five sixth minus two sixth is equal to five minus two divided by six which is equal to three-sixths or half. Is this not similar to the method of adding like fractions? Page 157 Thus, we can say that the difference of two like fractions can be obtained as follows. Step 1. Subtract the smaller numerator from the bigger numerator. Step 2. Retain the common denominator. Step 3. Write the fraction as result of step 1 divided by result of step 2. Can we now subtract 3 tenth from 8 tenth? Try these. 1. Find the difference between 7 eighth and 3 eighth. 2. Mother made a gurpatti in a round shape. She divided it into 5 parts. Seema ate one piece from it. If I eat another piece, then how much would be left? 3. My elder sister divided the watermelon into 16 parts. 
I ate seven out of them. My friend ate four. How much did we eat between us? How much more of the watermelon did I eat than my friend? What portion of the watermelon remained? 4. Make five problems of this type and solve them with your friends. Exercise 7.5 1. Write these fractions appropriately as additions or subtractions. We have three different parts with different figures, three in each part. Page 158 2. Solve A. 1 18th plus 1 18th B. 8 15th plus 3 15th C. 7 upon 7 minus 5 7th D. 1 upon 22 plus 21 upon 22 E. 12 upon 15 minus 7 upon 15 F. 5 eighth plus 3 eighth G. 1 minus 2 third 1 is equal to 3 upon 3 H. 1 fourth plus 0 upon 4 I. 3 minus 12 upon 5 3. Shubham painted two third of the wall space in his room. His sister Madhavi helped and painted one third of the wall space. How much did they paint together? 4. Fill in the missing fractions. A. 7 tenth minus dash is equal to 3 tenth. B. Dash minus 3 upon 21 is equal to 5 upon 21. C. Dash minus 3 sixth is equal to 3 sixth. D. Dash plus 5 upon 27 is equal to 12 upon 27. 5. Javed was given 5 seventh of a basket of oranges. What fraction of oranges was left in the basket? 7.10.2 Adding and subtracting fractions We have learned to add and subtract like fractions. It is also not very difficult to add fractions that do not have the same denominator. When we have to add or subtract fractions, we first find equivalent fractions with the same denominator and then proceed. What added to one-fifth gives half? This means subtract one-fifth from half to get the required number. Since one-fifth and half are unlike fractions, in order to subtract them, we first find they are equivalent fractions with the same denominator. These are 2 tenth and 5 tenth respectively. This is because half is equal to 1 multiplied by 5 divided by 2 multiplied by 5 equal to 5 upon 10 and 1 fifth is equal to 1 multiplied by 2 divided by 5 multiplied by 2 is equal to 2 upon 10. Therefore, half minus one fifth is equal to 5 upon 10 minus 2 upon 10 is equal to 5 minus 2 upon 10 is equal to 3 upon 10 or 3 tenth. Note that 10 is the least common multiple, LCM of 2 and 5. Example 8. Subtract 3 fourth from 5 sixth. Solution. We need to find equivalent fractions of 3 fourth and 5 sixth, which have the same denominator. Page 159 This denominator is given by the LCM of 4 and 6. The required LCM is 12. Therefore, 5 sixth minus 3 fourth is equal to 5 multiplied by 2 divided by 6 multiplied by 2 minus 3 multiplied by 3 divided by 4 multiplied by 3, which is equal to 10 upon 12 minus 9 upon 12, which is equal to 1 twelfth. Example 9. Add 2 fifth to 1 third. Solution. The LCM of 5 and 3 is 15. Therefore, 2 fifth plus 1 third is equal to 2 multiplied by 3 divided by 5 multiplied by 3 plus 1 multiplied by 5 divided by 3 multiplied by 5, which is equal to 
6 upon 15 plus 5 upon 15, which is equal to 11 upon 15. Example 10. Simplify 3 upon 5 minus 7 upon 20. Solution. The LCM of 5 and 20 is 20. Therefore, 3 upon 5 minus 7 upon 20 is equal to 3 multiplied by 4 divided by 5 multiplied by 4 minus 7 upon 20, which is equal to 12 upon 20 minus 7 upon 20, which is equal to 12 minus 7 divided by 20, equal to 5 upon 20, equal to 1 fourth. How do we add or subtract mixed fractions? Mixed fractions can be written either as a whole part plus a proper fraction or entirely as an improper fraction. One way to add or subtract mixed fractions is to do the operation separately for the whole parts and the other way is to write the mixed fractions as improper fractions and then directly add or subtract them. Example 11. Add 2, 4 upon 5 and 3, 5 upon 6. Solution. 2, 4 upon 5 plus 3, 5 upon 6 is equal to 2 plus 4 upon 5 plus 3 plus 5 upon 6 equal to 5 plus 4 upon 5 plus 5 upon 6. Now, 4 upon 5 plus 5 upon 6 is equal to 4 multiplied by 6 divided by 5 multiplied by 6 plus 5 multiplied by 5 divided by 6 multiplied by 5. Since LCM of 5 and 6 is equal to 30, which is equal to 24 upon 30 plus 25 upon 30 equal to 49 upon 30 equal to 30 plus 19 divided by 30 equal to 1 plus 19 upon 30. Thus, 5 plus 4 fifth plus 5 sixth is equal to 5 plus 1 plus 19 upon 30 equal to 6 plus 19 upon 30 equal to 6 19 upon 30. And therefore, 2 4 upon 5 plus 3 5 upon 6 is equal to 6 19 upon 30. Page 160. Think, discuss and write. Can you find the other way of doing this sum? Example 12. Find 4 2 upon 5 minus 2 1 upon 5. Solution. The whole numbers 4 and 2 and the fractional numbers 2 upon 5 and 1 upon 5 can be subtracted separately. Note that 4 is greater than 2 and 2 upon 5 is greater than 1 upon 5. So, 4 2 upon 5 minus 2 1 upon 5 is equal to, in brackets, 4 minus 2 plus 2 upon 5 minus 1 upon 5, which is equal to 2 plus 1 upon 5 equal to 2 1 upon 5. Example 13. Simplify 8 1 upon 4 minus 2 5 upon 6. Solution. Here 8 is greater than 2, but 1 upon 4 is less than 5 upon 6. We proceed as follows. 8 1 upon 4 is equal to in brackets, 8 multiplied by 4 plus 1 divided by 4 equal to 33 upon 4 and 2 5 upon 6 is equal to 2 multiplied by 6 plus 5 divided by 6 which is equal to 17 upon 6. Now, 33 upon 4 minus 17 upon 6 is equal to 33 multiplied by 3 divided by 12 minus 17 multiplied by 2 divided by 12, since LCM of 4 and 6 is equal to 12, which is equal to 99 minus 34 divided by 12, equal to 65 divided by 12, equal to 5, 5 upon 12. Exercise 7.6 1. Solve A. 2 upon 3 plus 1 upon 7 B. 3 upon 10 plus 7 upon 15. C. 4 upon 9 plus 2 upon 7. D. 5 upon 7 plus 1 upon 3. E. 2 upon 5 plus 1 upon 6. F. 4 upon 5 plus 2 upon 3. G. 3 upon 4 minus 1 upon 3. H. 
5 upon 6 minus 1 upon 3. I. 2 upon 3 plus 3 upon 4 plus 1 upon 2. J. 1 upon 2 plus 1 upon 3 plus 1 upon 6. K. 1 1 upon 3 plus 3 2 upon 3. L. 4 2 upon 3 plus 3 1 upon 4. M. 16 upon 5 minus 7 upon 5. N. 4 upon 3 minus 1 upon 2. 2. Sarita bought 2 fifth meter of ribbon and Lalita 3 fourth meter of ribbon. What is the total length of the ribbon they bought? 3. Nana was given one half piece of cake and Najma was given one one third piece of cake. Find the total amount of cake that was given to both of them. Page 161 4. Fill in the boxes. A. Dash minus 5 upon 8 is equal to 1 upon 4. B. Dash minus 1 upon 5 is equal to 1 upon 2. C. 1 upon 2 minus dash is equal to 1 upon 6. 5. Complete the addition subtraction box. We have two different boxes here with numbers given in them. 6. A piece of wire 7 8 meter long broke into two pieces. One piece was 1 fourth meter long. How long is the other piece? 7. Nandini's house is 9 tenth kilometer from her school. She walked some distance and then took a bus for half kilometer to reach the school. How far did she walk? 8. Asha and Samuel have bookshelves of the same size partly filled with books. Asha's shelf is 5 sixth full and Samuel's shelf is 2 fifth full. Whose bookshelf is more full? By what fraction? 9. Jaydev takes two one upon five minutes to walk across the school ground. Rahul takes seven upon four minutes to do the same. Who takes less time and by what fraction? Page 162 What have we discussed? 1. A. A fraction is a number representing a part of a whole. The whole may be a single object or a group of objects. B. When expressing a situation of counting parts to write a fraction, it must be ensured that all parts are equal. 2. In 5 seventh, 5 is called the numerator and 7 is called the denominator. 3. Fractions can be shown on a number line. Every fraction has a point associated with it on the number line. 4. In a proper fraction, the numerator is less than the denominator. The fractions where the numerator is greater than the denominator are called improper fractions. An improper fraction can be written as a combination of a whole and a part and such fraction is then called mixed fractions. 5. Each proper or improper fraction has many equivalent fractions. To find an equivalent fraction of a given fraction, we may multiply or divide both the numerator and the denominator of the given fraction by the same number. 6. A fraction is said to be in the simplest or lowest form if its numerator and the denominator have no common factor except 1. You were just listening to the audiobook Mathematics for Class 6. Narrator Gaurav Marva. Assistance in Production Soumya Malik. Producer Vimlesh Chaudhary. Presented by CIET NCERT, New Delhi, India.